Hi, good morning church and welcome to another episode of Stories of CRGC. Uh, today is a very special episode. I'm here with uh, Mark and uh, Deborah, and uh, they're going to tell us a little bit about their experience with church at home. But before we begin, maybe Mark and Deborah, you can tell us a little bit about yourselves and your journey with uh, CRGC. Um, well, I was the first one to join CRGC uh, because Deborah was still in Australia studying. And uh, uh, I actually joined the, C- the, the church because uh, I have existing friends there, uh, namely Richard Lau and uh, Chin Fong. These are, of course, members who have uh, gone overseas now. And then later, of course, I, I met up with uh, Raj and Benjamin, Benjamin Tan. And uh, I believe when uh, Deborah came back from Australia, yeah, we, we, we joined the, uh, the church Again, I joined the church again way back in 1995. So we've been around for quite a while. 1995. <laughs> <laughs> I would have been 12 years old. <laughs> yeah, we want the golden oldies left. <laughs> so anyway, uh, so I understand that you've been joining a church at home. And uh, so tell me what are some of the benefits that you get from joining a church at home? Um, well, first of all, um, being in church, uh, you know, it's just like being in an extended family, and uh, and the step of going into a home church uh, is actually a, a very uh, next step because in this uh, pandemic age, obviously we can't be physically in a in a, in a building and in a large sorry in a large building, so. Um, we got to, we, we were actually invited by, uh, by Dexter and, and Angeline because uh, we, we knew this couple way back a uh, pre- few years ago uh, because of Nicholas. Yeah. yeah. We got, we, we started playing, we, I started playing with Nicholas, you know, and from there we were introduced to the parents. And then after Dexter said, hey, you know, would you be interested to join us for a home, uh, home, home church? So yeah, why not? So it was Nicholas that started the ball rolling. La. So, yeah, so Nicholas being the uh, perfect host, uh, you know. The young folks. Yeah, young the young, I mean, being perfect as well. I mean, everyone <laughs> really, enjoyed, really, really enjoyed being with him. Yeah. yeah. And so, how has your time uh, been like, you know, spending time with uh, fellow church members in their homes? Yeah, how's it been? Um, well, Dexter and Angeline are fantastic hosts and our hostess. Uh, so in our church group, we have um, Evelyn, Evelyn Kang, then we have uh, Kang, uh, then we have, of course, the three, the three uh, hosts and hostesses, which is <coughs> Dexter, Angeline, and, uh, and Nicholas. Uh, and then occasionally we have uh, Pam and George dropping by as well. So, uh, and then we have uh, Amy. Mm. Amy, Amy mm-hmm. as well. So uh, the church group is just nice, I would say. The number is just nice. It's not it's not too big or it's too small. And I think uh, the other thing is that our age group, you know, we can click along very well. We have yeah. more common topics, you know, cooking, eating, and uh, and uh, mainly the challenges in life. We're 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 quite uh, we're facing quite the similar challenges in, in our lives together. Uh, so when we share and when we uh, when we pray for each other, uh, it, there, there are many, many common grounds that, uh, that we cover. Mm. And outside of that, we also have a chat group where we encourage, you know, anybody needs prayers or anybody find a song that they are ministered to, we just share it. So it's not only on Sundays, but on other days as well. Okay, so the relationship goes beyond just that Sunday. Yes. Oh, obviously, yeah. <clears throat> because um, I I just like to share with you what what we did on, on Easter Sunday. Uh, we actually got together and we started uh, sharing with uh, everyone, each other, what our greatest concern was, and we outlined the prayer list. And that prayer list was put forth in the WhatsApp chat that we have. So we have our own chat group, and. Uh, Subsequently, every day we follow up with each other on, on that prayer list and to, to pray through to make sure that uh, that prayer is fulfilled. 
So in our next meeting, which is on the 18th of April, we have uh, agreed that we will come together again and we will go down the list and, un and, and tell each other and testify um, of which list mm. God has answered. Mm. So we, we have, we have uh, held each other accountable, accountable for, 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 for our prayer, and for our walk in, uh, in Christ. Wow, that's amazing. So, uh, what would you like to say to encourage anyone else who is not in the church at home to join a church at home? Um, well, you know, I would encourage everybody to take that step forward. Look for a group that all, if you know some people that you are comfortable with, join that group. Or worse, if you cannot find anyone, start your own group and invite other people to come to your group. Okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, the fellowship is important. The, yes. the fellowship, I think, is uh, the the greatest thing that uh, we've learned from this COVID nineteen is that uh, no man is an island. Mm. We have to we have to have uh, physical contact. We have to have uh, face to face mm. interaction. Uh, yeah, we. It just this pandemic has just outlined what we desire the most, which is human interaction, and and, and I think it's uh, uh, you know. Being with uh, Dexter and Angelina and, 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 and his church group, uh, and our church group, is really, really encouraging. In fact, this coming Sunday, we have invited another new couple, uh, David Lau and Jenny. Okay. So, <laughs> Uncle David is joining us this Sunday, and I hope that, uh, uh, after, you know, uh, after his ex experience in, in this church group, he will be with us. That's great. Yeah, so church goes beyond the four walls. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's actually the people. And uh, it's very important to connect with people even during this time where I think there's a lot more physical disconnection mm. and uh, as that our connection is not just digital. And so Church at Home actually provides that. So thank you, Mark and Deborah, for sharing your experience. Uh, thank you guys uh, for watching uh, Stories of CRGC. Find a Church at Home. Bye. Bye.